there are different types of testing methods available for sulfate reducing bacteria but before describing these methods we should be well aware that there are two kinds of sulfate reducing bacteria one is called planktonic bacteria while the other is called sessile bacteria planktonic sulfate reducing bacteria are very smaller in size because of low size they don't settle down on the surface of the heat exchangers and they flow with moving waters so we can easily track these sulfate reducing bacteria in our cooling water system including coolant tower basin and heat exchangers however it has been observed that in our cooling water system portion of planktonic srb is very low and percentage of sessile bacteria is much high so if we are only testing sulfate reducing bacteria in cooling water supply in cooling water return and in at the outlet of the heat exchanger it means we are only testing planktonic bacteria in these systems and we are ignoring the presence of sessile bacteria sessile bacteria is not easily detected because it settled down in the system so the best method of testing planktonic bacteria is agar method what we do we use a culture medium of agar to grow sulfate reducing bacteria in that medium we collect cooling water supply cooling water return and heat exchanger sample we must be careful to avoid agitation of that sample because if we are agitating cooling water sample too much then oxygen in the sample may kill that sulfate reducing bacteria and we will not get positive result of the sulfate reducing bacteria however that sulfate reducing bacteria will be present in our cooling water system so the best method is to fill sample bottle with the water bring it to lab with deep care take 1 ml of water sample through pipette from the bottom of the bottle and insert that 1 ml of sample in agar tube also called agar ampules after inserting that sample we must add paraffin oil in that ampule to avoid oxygen entrance in that agar ampules if we don't add paraffin droplets in that sample oxygen will enter in that ampule and will kill sulfate reducing bacteria immediately and we will not be able to find sulfate reducing bacteria in ampule and we will be get misleading results we must place that agar ampule in incubator at the rate of 32 degree centigrade for 28 days let's suppose we have tested that sample and check that sample after one week of incubation and we observe there is no sulfate reducing bacteria and then we throw that but it will give misleading result because sulfate reducing bacteria may appear after 7 days after 15 days or after 20 days so the best method is to hold the ampule for 28 days and check the condition of the color of the ampules at the end of incubation period if sulfate reducing bacteria is present in that ampule it will be converted into blackish color and the portion of blackish color indicates the percentage or the growth rate or the severity of sulfate reducing planktonic bacteria in our cooling water system we can easily test planktonic srb in flowing water for example in cooling water supply in cooling water return and at the outlet of heat exchangers however we can't test sessile srb in this system so what we do usually we test sulfate reducing bacteria in heat exchanger deposits when these heat exchangers are opened in turn arounds so these results show us the presence of sessile srb but as the frequency of turn around is from 1 to 2 3 years so it become very hard to predict what's going on in the system 
So the best method of testing sessile SRV is to make a biocell. What is biocell? Biocell is a basically a media or medium in which sessile SRV will grow. We can see in our cooling water system we have a saline measuring unit. So what we do in these saline measuring units, we insert plastic and SS plates and we also decrease flow of cooling water. So with the passage of time, sessile bacteria will grow in slime measuring units. So if your system has a slime measuring unit, you can easily test sessile SRV in these units. We can observe mud deposition or other deposit accumulation in slime measuring units. Basically, slime measuring units also show a simulation of heat exchangers Let's suppose if heat exchanger has a low flow, then its chemistry will be similar as we are observing in our saline measuring unit. So if we are taking sample from the saline measuring unit and testing it, we can get sessile SRV results in that unit. If our cooling water system doesn't have saline measuring unit, the other method will be to make a biocell is just to add 12 mm PVC pipe in our system and allow our cooling water to flow from that pipe constantly. Best method will be to cut that 12 mm PVC pipe and clean it and clean its outer surface with ethanol. That ethanol will remove sulfate reducing bacteria if it's present in outer surface because of disinfecting properties. Now put these samples in sunny check agar and monitor the results sunny check agar will show the presence of sessile srb you can compare the results do you can compare these results with the chart provided by the sunny check so that method will help you to calculate actual sessile bacteria in your cooling water system it has been observed that sessile SRB are much higher as compared to planktonic SRB. So if we are testing planktonic SRB and sessile SRB, then we will be much aware about this overall sulfate reducing bacteria growth in our cooling water system.